Hey guys, SJ here, and I'm going to make a uh, full tier list of Melee. And before I get into it, I want to say, uh, this will probably be a tier list that's like a, like de facto, like not like online based, just like full on my actual thoughts of where everyone belongs, like completely based on the actual land game, not like rollback. Even though rollback's close, there's still some like differences. So yes, yeah, putting that out there and I'm going to get into it. Horrible character, so F. He's uh, really slow, clunky. He's got some gimmicks that work on some uh, newer people, but overall he sucks. And I think F is a fitting spot for him. He's, he's just not good at attacking. He's good at like uh, gimmicking people, that's it. So we got Falcon. I'd say he's the worst top tier. Top tier being like he's viable for like uh, winning any event. And worst top tier is still really good. So uh, for now, I'll put him at S. S is probably like a indicator for like who can win like a major every time. DK, DK is kind of like a shitty Falcon. He's a uh, any any Falcon player can probably play DK and has some success. He's got some uh, <clears throat> good ways to attack. He's got a lot of problems too. He's really simple. You can argue Falcon is pretty simple already, but DK is like takes the cake. But he's he's pretty good at attacking. If he gets some good reads on people, he can like uh, he's got some good combos. I'd say for now, I'll put him at a C or D. For now, I'll put him at C and maybe move him around based on how I feel the list should go. Dr. Mario, pretty uh, underused character now. Kind of died when Shrooms retired playing him. But I wouldn't say he's um, too bad of a character. He is like, I'd say like at least an above average character. He's got some good uh, kill setups. And compared to like Mario, um, I think across the board, his matchups are a little better. By virtue of like his uh, ability to like kill, has kill moves on like Mario, who only has like one basically. So across the board, matchup wise, I think Doc kind of outclasses Mario, maybe not by a whole lot. Doco, um, for this list, I'll put him in um, number three. Um, Doco, like really strong character, obviously, but I'd say at top level, he's the hardest to pull off, relatively. Um, still really good. Still has um, a lot of matches where you can like uh, play really defensively, abusively, or aggressive. And um, you know he's pretty versatile in that respect, except against maybe like some really hard matchups. But um, you know he he might lose some matchups against other top tiers, but it's never by like too much. And I say pound for pound, like compared to Falcon, he uh, does better. And um, he is a glass cannon. But he also has like uh, the tools to maybe be like number one. Like he's got infinite potential in my book, like combo wise, neutral, and all that. But him being a glass cannon and like his throws suck too. If Falcon had like actual good throws, he'd probably be easily the best. But his throws are like the what balances him out. So I think number three is a good pick. Fox. Um, number one or two. The argument is like uh, I'd say Martha's number one. But Fox, he's he's like a. His game plan is um, if not as easy as Marth, it's easier in a lot of matchups. Besides uh, like Marth tends to like destroy spaces, but other matchups he kind of like struggles with. While Fox, his like game plan is kind of uh, easy across the board. And um, even though Marth kind of ties or wins on every stage, like Fox can destroy people harder, like uh, and the game plan's easier. So it's like it's like it's like uh, what do you value more? I'd say uh. My thoughts is Marth wins on every stage, I guess every in every matchup. So I can't put Marth not number one, but Fox is really close. All right, Ganon. <clears throat> Ganon's interesting, probably the epitome of like mid tier. I mean, pretty good in Yoshi's, but uh, he's really easily can't is his problem. <clears throat> but he's got some. He's a pretty dope character, like slower Falcon essentially in a lot of ways. Uh, but he's like a bigger, even bigger, slower target. And um, if people want to beat you, they will, they will grind you out. And there's, it's very hard for Gan to deal with that on paper. Like she will chain grab you, etc. You know. So I gotta say, Ganon is uh, better than DK. <clears throat> is that saying much? No, not really. If you're in C tier or below, uh, life is pretty hard for you to win. But you know. If you're um skilled, like say Nun's Ganon, like Nun's like a, a monster, right? So his Ganon is like on par with like most people's like mains in the top twenty. 
arguably. But, you know, if you're like an average, uh, decent again, life, life is tough. I see is um, kind of interesting. Like, are we assuming they can wobble or not? Most, I think most tournaments are banned and wobbling, but uh, I wouldn't move them around too much regardless. I think uh, they'd be somewhere in B. I have to decide the order. I see is, uh, most people um, in the current meta before wobbling got banned, most people were just like gimmick wobbling people. They would just try to like, uh, what's what kind of bag of tricks would I do to uh, get the grab and then get the free kill? And every IC has had their own flow doing that. Besides, like, um, a couple exceptions. But, you know, that's kind of what it was like in, like, the meta. The pre-COVID meta. And then um, Wobbling got kind of banned. All the ICs kind of, like, retired, basically. But I think ICs um, are a uh, slightly underrated character in terms of neutral. Besides, like, uh, even without Wobbling, like, uh, they still got a lot of shit. It's just that the people who played ICs, uh, they're just, they just wanted to, like, gimmick people. And um, when they didn't have that, they immediately just rage quit. That being said, I think um, got a lot of good uh, D6 and neutral, like hitbox, hit, hitbox wise. Is like a, a lot of uh, pro IC still make it happen. Online, there's people like Slug who um, beat some good players, and um, you know he definitely outplays them with skill. And I think IC's uh, belong in B tier. Where exactly? I'm not exactly sure, but I think they're still pretty good. All right, Puff. Puff online, I'd say, is uh, not S plus, but in the tournament meta, um, land tournaments, like at majors, you know, Puff has a simple game plan, but she's really simple, but really effective. And if you do like a small choke or mistake, it's just like so brutal, like across the board. And um, against fast floaters, like she can rest or get you pretty easily. Against most floaties, uh, she might not have the same um, ability as much as, say, like fast floaters, but. She kind of destroys every floaty beneath her, just by virtue of like her, uh, the way she moves. She's got the horizontal like aerial movements. Her back air is like fucked up and like hitbox, so it might take like five six minutes to win. But Puff has like the upper hand, like big time against floaties. And um, you know, people like in the B tier, like what do you do against like a Puff who camps you, like B or below? They really can't do much. Like Puff is just like uh if they want to win by being like a uh, you know super defensive, they're gonna win. Like you watched uh examples at the top of my head like Chango versus um some Canadian ICs player where uh they just can't for like eight minutes. There's like bananas, Michael. What can the what can the ICs do? They can just like uh sit there and be mad. But it's it's like a really uphill battle. So I think Puff is um weaker online. Not by how much, I'm not sure. But it's because in real life, there's more of a, a tournament choke factor. She's a really good tournament character. Is she as good to say, like, friendly as everyone? Things are more chill, like uh, like rollback where you're sitting at your house, chilling out. I'd say no. But, yeah, I think this is fitting for uh, this tier list, like, tournament meta and not rollback. Kirby, really bad. Like, Bowser um has some gimmicks, but even worse than Bowser overall, I'd say. Link, Link is a pretty dope character. He's unfortunately pretty bad, like in most Smash games. D or E? Hmm. Gotta think about it. I mean, it really doesn't matter that much. Once you're in D or E, you're like, you're pretty pretty bad. I'll put him in like a high E for now. Yeah, Link, slow and clunky. Um, has some gimmicks, like his nair has like a. A lasting hitbox beyond the animation, but he's pretty easily like, ran down as a whole. Like he's just too slow to shield. Yeah, got some real bad problems as a whole. Talented link players kind of make it happen, but not quite. Like they can maybe uh, get like a top eight at like their local. But once they start going to like uh, nationals, like how well would they do? People will lame you out, and it'll be worse than if you're playing a uh, B tier Ganon on average. It sucks because this kid's actually pretty cool, but he just like too weak. Luigi, kind of weird pick. Like uh, in 2021, I'd say I can't put him as better than Ganon. So Luigi gets like smoked by uh, people that want to win. Like Marth, Luigi's like 80 20, and um, his I think people like it. he's he's a character with like strong gimmicks and really good combos, but defensively and um, 
uh, even like movement wise, uh, it's too like predictable and he's kind of relying down on like people not knowing how to fight Luigi and tilting, you know. So if he if he made his list like uh, years ago, he'd probably be like in B somewhere, high higher B. But I think Luigi sucks. He's the worst of the Mario Bros. But he's a really dope character. I love watching the best that we just play, like Destroy Spaces. That's always uh, fun to watch. Eddie Mexico, and Bates, and so forth. But, you know, in current meta, they suck. Mario? Um, You know, Mario's got some stuff over Doc. His recovery is better. His combos are better. But his kill setups are tougher. Not as good as Gimpin. Some people argue Mario is actually better in the current meta. Because the way you got to play with them... Um, with Doc or Mario, you gotta like uh, play super like cheesy defense, rely on like them being like annoying, short and annoying characters. But I think if you like uh, looked at like the actual matchups, Doc still is like superior, like pound for pound, like against like Huff, Fox, Falco, Marth. Like I think Doc's just better, like match wise. Okay, me too. Once believed to be the worst character, um, like a hyper. Hyper compass character that if you maximize, then um, it's probably underrated. Always had a good recovery. Um, defense wise, Miti's horrible. Was asset of recovery, but he has like a really complex like combo game, like double jump canceling, and um, moves that uh, if you maximize and you watch the best Miti's play, then you know he can actually be pretty good at attacking. So you know he can't be F tier. Is he as bad as Link? No, nah, I'd have to put him in D. Which, uh, if you're like a really strong Me Too and maximizes like his combo and attack potential, then he might be an underrated low tier in my book. Okay, Game Watch. Game Watch is a, a glass cannon, and he's like fucked up defensively. His shield's really bad. Half his moves like don't even like all cancel, but um, he's got some really good moves for attacking. His moves are really good for attacking, like his parachute, his uh, border, down tilt. So he, he's actually really good at attacking. And um, for me, that, that's huge for like a, uh, a character in the lower half. Like half these guys can't even attack properly. So I'd have to say Game Watch deserves a higher spot, maybe even like bottom of C. Because, you know, he, he can attack. You just have to play a style where um, you can't get opened up. He, he's the true glass cannon, low tier glass cannon, but I, I value his ability to attack when everyone else has to like play like, you know, super campy just to have a chance. Is he better than me too? Honestly, I, he probably is. He's simpler and uh, still better than attacking than me, than me too. Ness, horrible character. God awful. Um, how awful are we talking about though? Uh, I'd say bottom of E. Some guys might complain, say, no, he's bottom an F. But, I mean, it's close. His recovery is horrible. His attacking ain't bad, though. His, he's better at attacking than um, Bowser Kirby. So I got to give it to Ness being E. He's got some interesting combo ability. Overall, like for like a bottom tier, he, he's kind of fun and he's got some shit. He's got some complexity. All right, Peach. Peach is in um a weird spot in the current meta. She um fallen out of favor a lot. Yet she's still really good because uh besides like Joey Puff, she do dominates all the floaties beneath her. It's just like her matches against the fast followers kind of across the board have been getting worse and worse. But she still can like um win. She still has the tools because she gets like a truck. She can like uh do a random dash attack, and it's like the perfect like opener for getting like uh, hit really hard. And the best peach is like Armada, for example, could always like kill off when you grab right. So consistent. Not Armada peaches; they they can still kill like two or three combos. Sometimes they they can match the level of Armada. Watching the as the best current ones like Lod and Kazu Kalamazoo. But um, I'd say pound for pound, peach is like kind of slipping, but. She's uh still quite strong. It's just like uh she's like in her own tier, if that makes sense. She's not quite as weak as uh B tier people, not even close, but she doesn't quite fit with like uh the people above her too. 
kind of like borderline tier, but still really good, if that makes sense. All right, Pichu. One thought to be the worst character. At least Pikachu can Pichu can kind of attack. She's got like a his his nair's good. I think that's it. Really. Like his his he's got a good movement and his he's kind of good at attacking. Where he's better than like say Bowser and Kirby, you know. There's nothing more else to say about that. Pikachu, um good character, above average, with some uh really good stuff. Good amazing recovery. Um, kind of a funky neutral that has like strong gimmicks, but also some bad weaknesses too. Like Pikachu, uh, really bad grab range. Pikachu Nair, and it's like a crazy overshoot. But uh, the better players know that Pikachu can only overshoot like really far, and has to commit to it. And um, you know, tricky stuff like up air that pops you up, but it's all like strong, strong gimmicks in my book. Still though, Pikachu's got some good stuff. Strongest us match in the game, better than Foxes. Again, really bad against like floaties above or like Puff and Peach. It's just a horrible matchup. So I think B is kind of fitting. You gotta outplay pretty hard. Or rely on people not knowing the matchup. X has like the monopoly. Because every other Pikachu is way worse. In rollback, it's uh I think Pikachu gets nerfed by like you know random lag spikes. Like X needs that perfect uh, timing and spacing. So I maybe put him a little lower on the rollback tier list, but I think here it's fine. Also, Pikachu gets gets rocked by ICs too, so I think this is actually pretty fitting. And um, surprisingly bad matchups against like a uh, like Doc Luigi, but I think Pikachu does better against the top tiers, which in this game it's more about. Like in tournament at least. Uh Roy. I think Roy ain't too bad. I used to think he was bottom tier, but watching people like a uh, lag, the Mesco Roy man, he's actually uh kinda almost like a Me Too. Where uh you maximize the character and um have insane creativity. He can actually be like pretty good. It's just he has a fatal weakness where uh his swords just don't do anything when um you hit people in midair. So you can just camp out Roy. You can just jump in the air and win that way. If you really want to win, that's just a, a free W. So I can't put him in the same tier as me too. So Samus? Maybe. He's better than Link. If you maximize my save. Hard to say. I'll put him there for now. Samus? I'll put him right there. Red and Mario worse than Doc. Maybe better than Doc too. It's kind of close. She uh, kind of been in the same place meta wise the whole time, but she is definitely slipping as the best Samus is quit playing her like Plup, Duck, Hugo, Hugs. Her grab really holds her back. She's got a bad grab. If she had a, a normal grab like any other character, then um, I'd probably bump her up um, to maybe even like low A. But her her grab is too unreliable. And it's like a hard read. You whiff, you're like a, a sitting duck. Bad target. Free target, rather. Um, she she also doesn't quite hit like hard enough, combo-wise. Especially against floaties, she has to just outplay them. And can like box them and like hit them like, with a poke, and that's it. But she is a very dope character, you know? It's just, uh, what more can you do with Samus to make it happen in her meta? Maybe if um the top... Mains didn't quit the game or change characters. Uh, I'd be proven otherwise. It's kind of like Dr. Mario with Shrimps. Okay, Sheik. Pretty balanced top tier. Um, Renetta. I think 4 or 5 is good for Sheik. She's just a balanced defensive character. Uh, I think she's a little too linear to, for me to put her above 5. Although she does well against like a Marth and Falco relatively, and Falcon. Has a pretty solid problem with Puff and Fox, and her game plan is mostly linear, and she has to play pretty defensive. The one the one exception, and the best Sheik of all time was uh, Plup. Played aggressive, but uh, still, I think at heart, Sheik is more limited than uh, these three characters. Puff is uh, has an easier game plan that's more explosive and effective. 
but I think she belongs right here. She's like a balanced defensive character. I think five is a good fit. All right, Yoshi. Very interesting character. Uh, like B B tier is like a, it's like half strong gimmick tier, where the gimmicks are like pretty good, and they got some other shit too. Like Yoshi, uh, got some unique traits like double jump, um, super armor. That's basically like CC in mid air, and Yoshi can hit like a truck. Yoshi has parry and like Yoshi's got some strong shit. You gotta be careful hitting him, but uh, he he's he's still pretty limited, especially against like the top tiers. You gotta play at, like a very defensive play style, like abusive, campy, and get them on opening and you know really hit them hard. Although um, Yoshi's better at, at like playing like a stalemate bell than most. Some famous sets like Puff against like a uh, Om Server's H box. For example, um, but is Yoshi um, as strong as characters above him? I'd say no. I think Pikachu and Yoshi are in the correct spots. I think I, looking at this, I put Ice is a little lower, especially without wobbling. So I think Yoshi is the king of the B tier. Yeah, really strong gimmicks, great combos. Recovery is pretty solid too, as long as uh, he, he doesn't have a third jump, but his second jump has super armor. You gotta like hit him hard or read him really well. Again, he can like CC mid air with super armor and like uh, counter you. So, top of B. So, Young Link, pretty good camper with projectiles, but uh, also uh, a lot of tricks with neutral with attacking. To the point where uh, he, he might be a sleeper too. He might be belonging like low C or high, high D. I thought Link was a superior striker, but. Watching talented young Link mains play or like a uh, enthusiast like X, I my mind changes. His kill combos are, his kill moves are rather are weaker than Link's, but he still has good setups and overall better fighting, both camping or attacking wise than Link is. So I gotta give it to young Link over Link. So is he bottom C or high D? Pretty close. I'd say high D. Zelda? Pretty decent recovery, pretty good recovery actually. Her attack is too one dimensional though, and she's slow. Like, she's got like a forward or back which like Falcon's a meme, but she's also floaty and it's awkward to like play her. You gotta like play like a funky defense style. Yep, yeah, she's she's not very good, but she better than like Ness. Link? It's close. Again, this is kind of like the who, who gives a fuck tier, but. Doing the best I can. Characters. Yep, 26. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Remember to like, subscribe to the East Coast 1v1 channel. And I'll have more of these videos coming out in the near future. Thanks for watching.